Good afternoon, beekeepers and bee enthusiasts. How you doing? It's another great day at the farm and we are hanging out. It's beautiful weather outside. It's like 72 degrees. And it is time for us to add frames to our current hives so they can start producing honey on them that we can extract in October. So I've got like almost 40 frames prepared. They're ready to go. We're gonna go to a few hives we're gonna show you today. And you're gonna see me open the top. Basically, if there's any straw or anything, I'll take it out. And then I'm gonna fill the hives up all the way with frames. And then they will start producing honey on those frames and we won't go back into the hives until October. So it's just real quick, add the frames, close up the hives, get out, really simple, but uh, it's, it's a really fun process and it should be a good time. So let's just go ahead and tour, tour around and take a look and add some frames. Okay, so the first hive we're going into is our hydrangea hive. This has been a really good hive so far and they were really busy for about a week or two. I'd say about a few weeks ago. And uh, I think they swarmed. And when they did, they got a lot more calm. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. I'm going to do my best with holding this camera. So just forgive me if it's not straight or if it shakes a little bit. But it should be some good video. So let's go ahead and open her up. Okay, so I've got a few bees on top, not that big of a deal. So what I gotta do is take the straw out. And then once I do that, then I'll remove the divider board and we'll get some frames in here. It's definitely trickier holding this camera. I think we can do it. Okay, so they've already got a little honey built on this frame. Yeah, they're looking nice. All right, so let me grab some frames over here. As you can see on the uh, frame, I've got about an inch strip of wax. That's all you need, or at least that's all we've needed. Um, you know, you put that end strip in there, they pretty much get the idea and then they start building on that. See, I think I could fit two more. No, I can only fit one more. Okay. And I'll go ahead and put this divider board back. Actually, no, I'll just... I'm going to keep that open. It's not that big of a deal. They shouldn't build too much past that. So, uh, yeah, this, this colony's doing good. Um, excuse me. Got some hay up here. I'm going to try to clean this off a little bit. And I know some of y'all are looking at these frames and you're like, hey, those frames are offset. Um, it's really not bothering anything. I just don't... I don't feel like 
totally uprooting what they're doing to uh, adjust those. They're, like I said, it's not hurting anything. But we got five frames in here. This should be fine. We're gonna go ahead and close this up. And uh, yeah, these bees should be just fine. Cool, that's one hive down. This is our Sourwood Acres hive. Um, this colony's been going pretty good for a while. They stay under this nice walnut tree. And there's not many leaves on it now, but usually there is, and they've got some shade. But in any case, it seems like they're pretty active right now. Let's go ahead and open this top up and see what we can find. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove this divider board. See how the bees look on the inside. So, a lot of nectar at the top that is getting produced into honey. Now, sorry if the glare is kind of high. I'm going to add frames. I'm not going to fill this hive up all the way because we just haven't had luck in a 19 frame hive filling all the way with honey. So, I'm going to put about five or six frames in here, put the divider board back in, and let them go to work. But, uh,. Yeah, they should be fine. So let's go ahead and add those frames. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and put this divider board back in. And what we can do is fill this empty space back up with straw. Okay, so we're at the Fort Campbell Hive. Now this colony was busy about three weeks ago. I mean, they were chucked full of bees. There were so many bees around here and they were forming these big clusters. And uh, since then they've swarmed for sure. And so the colony is a lot smaller on the inside. But one thing I'll say is these bees are a little mean sometimes. I've had a few uh, friends and family members get stung around this hive. Uh, so they don't chase you away, but if you kind of stick around, they're going to let you know, hey, you need to move on. Uh, in fact, I've got a few buzzing me right now telling me I need to move on. So let's go ahead and open this thing up, see what we can see, and uh, add some frames. Okay, we got some ants up here. You're always gonna get ants when you're dealing with bees, so we just take a brush, sweep them right off. The bees appreciate it.
Now, same as I said with the sourwood hive, I'm gonna remove the straw and I'm gonna add about five or six frames, but I'm not gonna fill it up all the way just because last year they didn't even come close to filling up the entire uh, hive with honey frames. So, it's kind of fun doing this with one hand. Okay, so we got some honey. Uh, we got some drone brood. You know it's drone brood because it kind of sticks out of the comb and it's bigger. So they're definitely producing some drones here. Lots of nectar. Looks like they're finding nectar out there pretty good. They're not on me too hard right now, so I guess I'm not really bugging them too bad. But I don't want to overstay my welcome. So let's get these frames and put them in. Okay, so that's one, two, three, six frames added. We'll start working on that. Okay, so this is the driveway colony. And Dr. Leo's hive that we got from him. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Let's see what we got. I'll tell you what, this hive really is maintained really well. I'm really happy with it. Of course, I'm, I'm happy with just about everything I get from Dr. Leo, or that we get. So, they're kind of quiet. Let's, uh, let's open up this divider board and see what we can see. Okay, so we've got some bees, not a lot. I assume they just swarmed because they were pretty active a few weeks ago. So I'm thinking they just swarmed and that's why they're kind of low on numbers right now.
but let's go ahead and add some frames for them so they can once they build back up they can start working on it That's all I'm going to add right now. So yeah, it was pretty simple. Like I said, we just drove around to a few different hives, um, took the straw out, put some new frames in, and those connies should be good to go for the rest of the season. You know, of course, we teach a lot of uh, minimal interaction with our honeybees. And for us, you know, really just going in and getting them frames for the rest of the season and leaving them alone and not touching them again until October when we pull out the honey frames. Uh, we think it's good for them and you know generally as a rule of thumb i think the less human interaction they have the better they do uh they're definitely a lot uh they, they, they have a lot less stress um but in any case it was a lot of fun uh it was such a beautiful day for doing this today i mean the weather was perfect not a cloud in the sky uh so it was really nice and uh yeah it was a lot of fun so we hope you enjoyed it until next time we'll see you soon